Hi Amazon sellers. Today we'll be discussing about data driven profitable marketing. So, we have been working with more than 100 customers and we have been really surprised by the vagueness of understanding of our customers. In a sense, what I'm trying to say is there are these core business indicators that tells you the level and the quality of the business. People are not aware of that. Let me show you that by a simple example. So if I ask you, what is the marketing cost per unit sale of top 10 products of yours? If you don't know these numbers, if you don't know marketing cost for each unit sale, then you are in problem. I'll tell you why. Because your competitor does know that. And they're going to eat you if you're not doing proper marketing and getting the best sales rank for your products because they are working really hard people like us are helping those people to really succeed and we compel those customers to have these numbers on their tips so in our businesses we compel each and every customer of ours to maintain daily marketing spend per unit sale or weekly marketing spend per unit sale. I understand it might not be possible for you to maintain daily these numbers, but you have to maintain weekly numbers. You're not tracking the marketing spend per unit sale. Then you do not know, you know, what are those numbers? How much are you spending for the sales? Your competitors know that. So, the question is, how do you calculate marketing costs per unit sale? It's very simple. Let's take it. Let's take the daily numbers. So let's assume that there's a product called A and you're selling 10 units of that product. And then you're spending around 100 rupees for the marketing of that product. So essentially, 100 rupees marketing divided by 10 products essentially it comes out to be 10 rupees marketing for each unit sale so that is the daily number similarly you can have a weekly number you can calculate what was the number of total sales in the entire week and how many products you sold in the entire week and what amount of money you spent for that duration so let's assume you, you sold around 60 pieces of that product A and you spent around 1000 rupees for marketing. So essentially 1000 rupees divided by 60 units of products. It gives you that number. So 1000 divided by 60 rupees, approximately 70 rupees each item. So you spent 17 rupees in, in trying to sell that product A. Every time you spent 17 rupees, you had one sale. So that gives you weekly marketing cost per unit sale. So, so this is the number you need to keep a track of. And we really help in that. All of our customers, you know, we, we compel them to have these numbers running in their uh, computers and, in, and they should be having this data in front of them all the time. Because only then we can control the output we would be able to spend more or less depending upon how profitable uh, we, we are for our product and and the entire categories can be managed on just the basis of this number that was marketing cost per unit sale and there's another term apart from this next factor is permissible marketing cost per unit sale so there will be a benchmark of an amount that you can spend for each unit sale. So if you're selling, for example, a 100 rupees product and you have decided that the permissible marketing cost per unit sale for this product is, let's say, 20 rupees. So in order to be profitable, you have to have the marketing cost per unit, per unit sale lower than this permissible marketing cost per unit sale. So this is the thing. There's a theoretical number and then there's a real number which is actual marketing cost per unit sale. This has to always be lower than this. This is the permissible marketing per unit sale. This is the marketing 
actual marketing cost per unit sale. So if you have to be profitable, you always have to maintain, you know, the balance. Either they'll be equal or the permissible marketing cost should always be higher than the actual marketing cost per unit sale. This is the thing that will keep you profitable. There's one suggestion that I want to give to all of my uh, sellers. See, technology and this digital selling platforms, they allow us a lot of data and you need to have somebody in your team who could process all that data so that they can tell you the gist of what is happening. You as business owners do not have enough time. You must be entangled in a lot of operational details of your business and it might be the case that you are missing this opportunity of getting the data back. Definitely have a data person in your team. That will help you in understanding the entire strategy, in applying marketing you know, strategies and even maintaining profitability in your entire organization. So I deeply suggest that you definitely should have a person who is good at data and processing so that you can have this understanding of where you're going. Is it profitable? Is it not profitable? What actions have to be taken on the basis of the data analysis? That will be done by the data guy. So you should definitely hire somebody like that. Cheers.